in the WAC. And it is a great day for football. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little breezy, but not a cloud in the sky with 63 degree temperature. The humidity at 40%. Second and 10 at the 37. And again, the throwing game. Day. 50. Day. Nearly breaks it all the way. Shaken up a bit, but that's how close it could have been to an interception. Smith to the five, goes in, touchdown Louisiana Tech. result is just about the same as a turnover. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. And Louisiana Tech already a 24-zip leader. The play action to McCown looking. Got a man. It is complete. Oh, what a grab in the end zone by Curry. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. would rotate his quarterbacks in the past and when they need to throw the football he's done a good job here gets one out to gavin booth for the touchdown unbelievable the owls through the air again a 21 yard td strike and booth says take that first to 10 mccallan with a keeper 20 15 10, that's it. touchdown yes bulldog score McCowan with some nifty running of his own. Defenders, but they made his back for the first down. Burn going deep, first six, in the end zone. He caught it! Touchdown, Owls! Who else? Booth! Gavin Booth! Today, and it will be at Skeen's back. So it's going to be a 42-yard field goal attempt. 42 yards with 14 seconds to go that would virtually give the Owls the win, barring a miracle from Louisiana Tech. Good snap, good hold. Somebody got a piece of it, deflected. And Louisiana Tech, that could not hold all second half, came up when they needed it. Oh, they come on for the 20-yard field goal here in overtime. And the kick is up, and it is good by Josh Scobie. So Scobie place of the injured Carlin Thomas. Fourth and 25 in overtime. They've got to make it happen here. Tech wins. Kern escapes two. Throwing it deep. Looking for the Hail Mary. It's up. Incomplete. Bulldogs win. 38 in overtime. Louisiana Tech led 31 to nothing. Rice, an incredible comeback to force the overtime, but unable to match the field goal and falls 41-38. The Owls are 3-1 in the whack. 
your new WAC leader, the La Tech Bulldogs at four and one. Here's a look. Almost caught, Gary. Well, he's trying to make a play here. He throws it up. It's kind of a jump ball situation. It's going to get banged around. If, if he continues to go here, he may make the catch. It's Gilbert Ocaronco about a Shep Shy. And oh, good job that time to knock the ball away. Cal Herm steps up and throws it. These are the kind of plays that, you know, hey, you hate as coaches, they come down to one last play in the game. And good job that time knocking it away. Wow, what a heads up play. I'm telling you. That what a job there by Shepard yeah, to that knock that Shepherd ball away. Quarterback. Willie Shepard. Incredible effort. Great football game. And just an incredible finish to go along with it. As Louisiana Tech goes four and three. Four and one in the whack. And pending what happens with Boise State, they'll be in sole leadership when the night is over. And guess what? They've got Boise State coming up next week here. Rice with its first loss at 3-1 goes to Fresno next week. For Gary Reasons, Kevin Eschen, Felder.